I'm Tim Gross, age 57. I've been running since 1982, I think, when I started running at school. I used to be a middle distance runner, 800, 1500, sort of like slowly got up to the marathon eventually. And today is 10K, probably hoping to run. If I can get under 40, I'll be pleased today. I haven't been running that well of late, but see how we go. My marathon PB dates back from 2005 when I did 2.33 in London and most recently last year in Seville I did 2.59.52, got under three by the skin of my teeth. I did um, the GB duathlon uh, for the Great Britain a couple of times. In fact, I actually qualified in the race here back in 1997. I seem to remember, I think it's the last time I've actually been here. So I don't remember it at all, but I remember doing a 25 mile time trial and then a 10K run, something like that. I think I just sort of love getting out and exploring different places and all sort of feel that sometimes I, I can do better than I have done. <laughs> like it's sort of ever declining cycle, but there's always like sort of motivation. You can do better than yesterday, as they say. And yeah, I think yeah, if I don't run, I get miserable as my wife says. So just need to keep going, I think. So after this, I've got an indoor mile on Wednesday and then the British Masters Championships the weekend after, doing an 800 on the Saturday and 1500 on the Sunday. Today, I think just to get a good race in, see if I can get somewhere near 40 minutes. Um, didn't run very well in a part run last week, so see if I can get a bit better. I've been training quite well, but it's sort of that focus on the shorter distances, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go. I think I've been a bit tired recently, so I've had a few days off this week, had yesterday off, and see if I get more zip in the legs. You don't quite know where to line up here because 40 minutes is there, but you're kind of thinking, well, it's not that many here, so I'll line up with him. On your marks, get set. There we go, they are up there, up there, up there. If you stick around, you'll see your reactions. Although, if you do want to go get a coffee, now is the time to do it. Well, Jack, good job. I'm coached by Matt Reese, the Welsh runner, the, another fellow YouTuber. So, I mean, basically, I decide what I want to do, and then he sort of works around that. So, if I say I want to run a 10k or, a, or an indoor 800, then he'll work around that. And it was very good last winter when we did the training for Seville. So, it's good to get like um, a different input. I mean, I, mean, I sort of know what to do, but. It's quite nice to have sort of like your week mapped out so you know what you do each day and you don't need to sort of think about it too much and you've got some accountability to talk to somebody about your running. I think a 10k is like, feel like, like a long 5k so you should feel like you start off sort of comfortably hard but just trying to find a rhythm and in a way I think a 10k is a bit of a nicer dis distance than a 5k because you just need to hold back slightly. I think it's sometimes a case of like looking at your watch, trying to get like the first split about right, not going off too quick and not going off too slow. And I think these days, as I'm a bit older, I have to be a bit more sort of cautious about the start because back in the day, you used to start on the front row and now you can't really do that because you're not really fast enough. So you have to be a bit more sort of savvy sometimes and then treat it a bit more like a time trial. But you know, if you get into it, and I think it always, a good race is always when you sort of start hard and keep it going. I've always been pretty bad about sort of like dying at the end, but uh, we, yeah, we'll see how we go today. In terms of the kit, I've got my Vaporfly 3s on. Vaporfly 1s are my favourites. I tried the Alpha Flies, but I didn't really like them a bit heavy. I've got such big feet that uh, weight is quite an issue for me. I had a couple of bits of toast on the way and just a bit of a drink. I don't usually like to eat too much, but sometimes you just need like a little bit just to see. It was only a 10K, so you don't really need to fuel on it. I mean, I just run it, you know, straight out and uh, you don't need to take gels on the way like you do for a longer race, which is, which is quite nice. Tell me a little bit about um, Run Britain rankings. Uh, well, we started that along with Power 10 uh, in about sort of 2009, I think. So I'm sort of the person that sort of does all the IT for it. And we have a team of people that do all the results. So it, it basically records all the results from UK athletes, both in the UK and abroad. And uh, Power of 10 is a bit more track focused. Run bit rankings is a bit more sort of road focused. So the, re the results of this race will hopefully appear today and you'll be able to see how that compares to your PBs. We also have a handicap system, a bit like in golf, so you can kind of measure your performances, um, not just in uh, one event, but all across all the different events, see how you can pace for other people. And it's all hopefully gives motivation that if you do a good race, your handicap will improve, as it were. And if you don't, you can give you motivation to do better the next time. Yeah.
Well, the sentiment was I tried my best, but uh, it was about 42 17 at self time. So basically, I tried to run a sub 40. It was on about 20 minutes or halfway, and then the last 5k, I was just like dead on my feet. I don't think I've ever felt so sort of slow in a race for a long, long time. My mate Phil York hasn't beaten me since about 1990. Came past me with about a k to go. Because we went up this bit here into the wind and then did a U turn back. And I thought, oh no. At that point, I felt like I was just walking. But it's one of those races, like it's a good experience because you, you're kind of not quite sure what shape you're in and you want to go off like a, a reasonable clip. But then there was a point when three W60s came past me, which is quite demoralizing because you're kind of thinking, well, they're on for a sub 40 and I'm sort of already starting to go backwards a bit. But yeah, one of those days, you just try your best and it's good to see that suddenly people are still coming in. So you know you're not last. And in a company like this in the National Veterans, you're always going to be like, on a hiding into nothing. And we spoke to a guy there who was 50, running 34 minutes. And I was struggling to run that when I was a senior, let alone when I'm 50. So yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes races go well, sometimes not so well. And uh, you can always hope to do better on the next one.